and we're gonna get started right now. I'm gonna sharpen my pencil real fast. Oh, I do have a sharpened pencil. <laughs> this is what happens to my pencils. I go through them very quickly. All right, if you ever need pencils, if you ever need some Kimberly drawing pencils and you're running out in your art kit, please let me know, all right? Okay, so we're gonna start with the back. And we have all of our proportions down with the skeleton here. Hands are hitting mid thigh, shoulders are wider than hips. Okay, so we're gonna start first with the figure on the left hand side here. We're going to add the neck, connecting that to the shoulders here. A little bit of a kind of downward curve here from the neck, okay? Which is going to connect to the shoulders right now, all right? Again, we have these little circular place, these you know, elliptical placeholders here for the shoulders. We're gonna fill those out. Again, this is the back. So what's gonna happen is, I'm gonna kind of extend this a bit here to make it look natural. We're gonna pull this down here so that you can see kind of the jawline here, back of the head, almost like a three quarter view, all right? And this is just a reference for later on. As you can see, you know, the back of the head here, three quarter view of the face, etc. All right. So we're going down to the shoulders. We're going to reference the shoulder blades down here on the bottom of. row number two, okay? Just a little reference. And then we're gonna go around the ribs, give some room for the ribs, okay? Which lead to the obliques, which are those those side muscles we kind of call like love handles. If, you know, if you're as old as I am, you, you know, you're not as svelte as you young kids and I have these things. Not, not obliques, they're more like love handles that are hidden, that are hiding the obliques, those muscles. So we're gonna come down here Put a little hint there. You all have those muscles. Some of them, some of them are covered up by chubbiness. That's me. It's because I like bread, guys. I like bread and cookies. Okay. This center line is just referencing kind of like the back. We're gonna give a little hint that it's like curving here. So just draw another little line here that kind of shows that curve in the back, right? So we have shoulder blades. Going down to the obliques after the lats. Okay, trap muscles here up by the neck. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so we're gonna stop here when we get to row number four. And we're gonna go back up to the shoulders. Okay, pull the shoulders down. We're gonna have a little hint of a bicep here because you're not gonna see the bicep. You're gonna see the back of the arm, which is going to be where the triceps are, okay? Okay, a little hint of our tricep here. Bicep diving into the forearm, roll that out and then taper it, meaning that it's gonna get narrower from the wide point where it's hitting that bicep, okay? We're gonna show a little reference of the elbow, just a kind of a crooked line right there, okay? And then we're going to pull the forearm down, just like so, okay? So hint of a bicep, tricep back here. I'm gonna kind of erase that line. That's a little Yeah. So that's going to be, this is our left hand arm, left side arm. And we're gonna mimic that over here later. Okay. Davi, am I going too fast? You look frustrated. 
Russell, slow down. Oh, no, no, you're good. You're good. Okay. Jet, am I going too fast? You good? Give me a thumbs up. Okay. All right, now, leading down from the forearm to the hand, we have a little bump for the wrist right there. Line here that kind of connects to that elbow hint, right? Which is another forearm muscle. And then we're going to go to the hand. Now, hand shapes. Oh, wow, I'm really dirty. Wow. Hand shapes, we're going to go down here. Because we have a bend in the, in the elbow and it's kind of, our hand is going to be a little bit higher on the left hand side versus the right hand. The right hand is going to hit mid thigh or a little bit lower than mid thigh. Okay, so we're going to create a little like an open trapezoid here. And we're just gonna create kind of a generic hand. And then we're gonna do another trapezoid and connect it so it looks like a paddle, you know? So if you look at your hand, it's kind of shaped like that. You have a trapezoid here, trapezoid here. And then we're just gonna, little hints of hands and fingers, okay? All right. So just a little hint. We're just using placeholders. We're gonna get into hands a little bit more in depth. I know I made you do some hand drawings earlier, but I'm not gonna spend a lot of time, you know, trying to make your hand, don't try to make hands perfect. You might change them as you're adding clothing and, and stuff to your three people, okay? Come up here, little thumb, tuck it into the index finger, okay? So. Little placeholder for the hand, right there. Boom, boom, boom. But again, don't get caught too much up in the detail of the hand for right now. Going back up to the right arm. It's gonna go up to the right shoulder. We've felt kind of flushed out the shoulder. We see where it's gonna to connect to the main torso or main body, upper body. We're gonna draw tricep here. Okay, a little, little bump. Mm -hmm. And then the other part of the tricep, which is up this way. Okay, just like that. And then there's another line that comes down to the elbow. Okay, so we're gonna draw that. And a little hint of the bicep underneath, just like that. Okay. I know, I know, it looks more complex than it actually is. But it's just, if I could just do that, you know, make it large so you can see better. I can. Caroline Byrne. Caroline Byrne, you are late. I am so sorry. I don't know what happened. I do. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I feel awful. You should. I do. Isn't my class like your favorite class? It literally is, and I don't know what slipped my mind. Where's your late pass? I'm calling your mom. Okay, that's okay. Actually, better, I'm going to call your mom. I deserve brother. it. <laughs> yeah, he'll kick my butt, so. <laughs> You're forgiven because I know you enjoy my class. So, turn to page 21 and catch up. Okay. Don't worry, Caroline, this is gonna be on my YouTube so you can watch it there. And you can actually hear me chastise you for being late because it's gonna be on the video. You're on the video. Okay, I'll look at it too after. All 191 of my followers are gonna know that you were late to class. <laughs> okay, moving on. So here's the elbow. And then we're gonna start with the forearm coming down. And then the forearm on this side. Coming down, Ta -da. see, there's a forearm. He's been, uh, he's been not ignoring the weights. Okay, let's do that. Triceps, bicep, back of the arm, elbow, forearm, forearm, and then one more line to just, you know, show the muscles in the forearm. And then we're gonna reach down to the left hand, and we're again, these are just like, you know, little lines for placeholders of where I want to put things. So I know that, you know, my thumb is going to come out here. I'm going to come back down and I go back out, right? And then I'm going to have a little, see that little line here to just kind of line up where I'm going to put my fingers. Boom, boom, boom. 
boom, 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 and then Pinky out, like, oh, like he's, uh, I don't know, like he's drinking tea, I don't know, yeah. Again, not detailed, just the placeholder. So we have a really buff upper body, and then he's been skipping leg day. So we're gonna get to that in a minute, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna slow down for you guys to catch up. See what I did, copy what I did. Okay, how we doing? Hudson, are we good? You ready to move on? Okay, now your favorite part, guys, we're gonna draw the lower body, including the butt, okay? The largest muscle in our bodies is our butt, our gluteus, is it gluteus maximus? Gluteus, I can't remember. But in box four and a little bit of box five, we're gonna be drawing the butt. I'm just gonna kinda little circles here, little circle here. More like an egg shape, like a duck egg shape, all right? But not, you know, we're not gonna go full, like, you know, huge, gigantic, oh my gosh, how do you put pants on kind of butt. Just, you know, just a little reference of a butt, okay? But we're not gonna, like, we're not gonna, you know, draw, like, the whole, like, Good details. We're just gonna do a little reference. I'm gonna go down here, right here, okay? We're gonna have a little bit of a hint of a butt crack, a little, uh, just like that, and a little bit of overlap, just like that. It's okay, it's okay. It's, it's just, it's part of anatomy. There's nothing dirty about this, okay? If your parents walk in while you're doing this, you know, just tell them it's an assignment, it's okay, okay? So we now have the butt. The buttox, the caboose, it's right there, the thing you sit upon, okay? And then we're gonna move down to the quads, okay? Quads. Yeah. From a zibut area. Gotta taper in a little bit. Okay, there's your quad. And then we're gonna kind of tuck in. We're not gonna be able to see the kneecap. We're just gonna, you're gonna see the back of the knee kind of thing moving into the calves, just like so. Okay, see that? There's your left leg. See, that's not an imperfect it's not dirty, it's fine, right? Look at that. Okay, moving over to the right leg, same thing. Taper a little bit. Quad muscles are really important for mobility, power and strength, right? Back of the knee here. And we're gonna start drawing those calves. Going down, a little hint. Here and then we're good. Okay. Fun stuff, fun stuff. Right. Now, we have we have left these little circles here which are gonna represent placeholders for our ankles, right? So we're gonna do a little bulge out here because you want because we don't you know you don't go straight from calves to like your feet you have these ankles these these areas where you have mobility and movement right and so we're gonna draw also the back of the heel here back of the heel here a little hint of the Achilles And then we're moving up. We're gonna, so notice how I have like these little swim fin looking things, right? On the bottom. So we're actually gonna go and draw the ball of the foot up here and then kind of cut back 
draw the foot here and then cut back and circle back to the heel, right? So now, arch, ball. And then top of the foot coming down, right? Again, placeholders. We're not gonna spend a lot of time doing the detail of this. We just wanna get the general shape. So if we're doing the outside here, so the small toes are gonna be on the outside here. Big toes are on the inside, you're not gonna see them. Okay, so we're just gonna draw little nubbins to represent our toes. Not gonna spend a lot of detail on it. And then it just, we're not gonna draw what we cannot see, okay? And there we are. There is the first one. And we're cruising, guys. We got two more views to do, and they're gonna go quickly. Hardest one is the back, okay? I mean, if you want, you can come back here, you can draw a little, you know, little, little back dimples or the top of the butt, you know, kind of thing, the lower back kind of thing. You can add some some little hints of the muscle muscles up here, you know, in the neck, but I digress. All right, so we're moving on to the center. Same thing, same thing that we did on the, on the, the, the far left guy. We're gonna add the neck down to this line here, which is going to be our demarking line for the shoulders. We're gonna add a little curve from the bottom of those, of the neck down to that demarking line, okay? And then round out our shoulders, okay? Now, I, I'm using a lot of like searching lines. I'm not really darkening any of these lines. I'm just using a lot of searching lines. It's very sketchy and that's, it's, it's done on purpose, okay? We're gonna come up here. We're gonna do the pectoral muscles. They're gonna go a little bit below number two's last line, okay? And up, okay, and this is a very large muscle group. And if yours are a little bit more square than mine, that's totally fine. It doesn't have to be perfect, guys. We're just looking for approximation of proportion, okay? And this is why we have the grid, so that you guys can kind of rely on the grid to create those, those areas where you can reference for the proper proportion. Okay, where things go within the grid. When we start drawing actual people from photographs, they're gonna be fully clothed, they're gonna be in action, they're gonna be walking or you know, drinking a coffee or whatever, right? So we're the flip side of this. So we're doing the right arm here. So we're gonna have a little reference of the tricep up here and then the bicep coming here and connecting with the pectoral kind of region here okay like this area this is my the bicep kind of dives beneath the pectoral muscles okay elbow and elbow right here a little, little reference of the elbow and then forearm Forearm. Cream cheese is right there too as well. If you want, if you want some for the road, you can take some for the road too. That's <laughs> so it. We're also going to go. Yeah, just got them this morning. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna actually gonna go a little bit further outside the rib cage here to echo here, and then again obliques, right in this this between these two lines here. Okay. And then down. 
We're gonna come back to the hands in a minute too as well. Oh, it's okay. Enjoy. Can we get the hands to I want you to ask you something. Sure. That was um, our new shop teacher. Stopping by to pick up a bagel. Today I provided snacks for my fellow colleagues. All right, now, so we have upper rib cage here, these muscles here, as well as the traps, or excuse me, the lats, and then oblique hips, hip flexors, and we're gonna go down here. We're doing the right hand leg quad. Okay. We're coming up here. Okay. We're going to do a hint of the kneecap. Okay. Going down. Now we're gonna travel up to the left-hand side arm. We're gonna drive here and put in the bicep, starting from right here where the pectoral muscle is gonna meet the bicep, and then from the shoulder down, okay? All right, and we're also gonna put a tricep diving behind, and then putting in the elbow. Right there. Okay. Let's hmm. put that more square. There you go. Oh, oh my God. And then we have the forearm. Pencil in. Obliques, hips, hip flexors. We're gonna come back to the hands. Quads. All right, now, so the feet, guys, we're facing, it's facing us, right? The little toesies, right? The little toesies are facing us. So what's gonna happen is, the big toe is going to be on the inside. Big toes are on the inside. I'm just gonna do a little curved line to show that the toe, and then they're gonna progressively get smaller. And they all splay out. Toes splay out, they, and pinky toes actually, play a crucial role too as well. So we're gonna just show the ball, the foot too as well, and then the carpals, okay? It's rudimentary, but it's gonna be that reference we're gonna definitely use, okay? All right, now, going back up here, okay, we're gonna just show, you know, also where a lot of this stuff is I think just a reference of abdominal muscles we're not gonna go crazy belly button kind of thing you know okay just a just some lines to kind of give us a reference of abdominal muscles okay now we're gonna go back up to the hands am I going too fast Davi you good thumbs up 
a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna slow down. So I wanna give you guys some time, catch up. You guys are lucky. I kind of tortured my fifth period class. We went through this literally in one period. We did the skeleton and then we did the musculature all in one period. <laughs> they were screaming at me. Slow down! So what I'm doing right now, just quickly, is just showing a demarking line here for the angle of where this, the fingers are going to start. Pretty simple. Now, um, just doing the hands real fast, I'm just going to mimic what I have here, over here, all right? The angles of these fingers. Okay, placeholders, just placeholders. We may or may not change them. That is a little high, a little low, excuse me, for it to be the left hand because my thumb is up there. So I'm gonna do these fingers quickly. So even me, who's been drawing forever since basically I was in diapers and I was drawing, sometimes I even make mistakes. Actually, I make mistakes all the time. What am I saying? And we are going to curve that. So while you guys are catching up, I'm going to get started on the far right. So here's the thing. We did the motorcycle helmet last class. We're going to add neck muscles here down to that demarking line, the same line that we use for the shoulders here. Boom. And we're going to round out the shoulders, same level. We're going to go over here. We're going to add something some more flesh and musculature to the neck from the profile. We're gonna add 
pectoral muscles that come down to here, right? To this level, just below this line right here, okay? Pectoral muscles are gonna come, okay? Shoulders, all right, bring that in here. So shoulder, and then we're not gonna fill that line in, we're just gonna show that's the shape of the pectoral muscles we're using, right? Pretty cool. Biceps up here. Bicep coming down. Elbow. And forearm. This is for this hand, the right hand. So we know where our rib cage ends. This is also where we're gonna draw a line showing where the back is meeting the lower part of the body or the upper body is meeting the lower part of the body, right? So this is our back going into the butt. See that negative space between forearm and back? Make sure you have that shape. to do some upper abdominal muscles here, coming down to the lower abdominals. Right. Hip flexors and obliques are here. Obliques, hip flexors, lower abdominal muscles. This is probably the easiest one out of the three different positions or views. So we're gonna go down here, quads, quad, or excuse me, hamstrings back here, back of the knee, kneecap, all right? Calf. Front of the calf, function area, lower leg. Okay. A little reference of the ankle, Achilles tendon, and heel. Okay. Put them all together. Belly button. That's where it would go. <laughs> Okay, and the last thing we're gonna do is the foot and the hand. So we're gonna come up here. We're making this shape here. So we're gonna go a little bit wider. Thumb. Mm, 
beautiful. Keep this narrow because we're not actually seeing this, but I'm going to draw it anyway because that way I'm more practice doing it. Outside of the wrist. Boom. Now, we're going to go down here taper this top of the foot down to the toes from the heel we're going to go into the arch of the foot ball of the foot a little top okay Boom. so this is a really basic approach to the three views of a Kind of cannon man. One, two, three, and then next class, next week, we are going to be actually clothing this individual. And the reason why we're doing the musculature is that way you can kind of see what's underneath the clothing before you add the clothing. Now, if you were, we were doing a much skinnier person, of course, that would change. But we're just giving you, I'm just giving you kind of a, an idea of what is happening. Does that make sense with the human form? So this is your, the proportions of an eight, kind of eight head high man. Okay, now we can change things up by making it a five head person, which would be probably a younger person, but that would change. The one uh, universal measurement that we're using is that head, okay? But I kind of use more of a hero type body versus just a teenage body. This is more like a hero type body. Um, but we're gonna be doing more of this figure drawing later on uh, in the coming weeks. And then we're gonna be transitioning to uh, back to facial proportions.